Samsung S6102 Galaxy Wide Duos is part of Samsung's small but growing Android-powered dual-SIM lineup. Besides the second SIM slot, the S6102 comes with some minor upgrades over the original Galaxy Wide. It comes with a 2GB microSD card in the retail box, along with a micro USB charger and a USB cable. There is no headset included. The screen of the Wide Duos is 3.14 inches in diagonal, up from 3 inches on the original Galaxy Y, but maintains the same low-end QVGA resolution. The camera has been bumped up from 2 to 3 megapixels and records QVGA video at 24 FPS, up from 15 FPS. The phone itself is also slightly larger than the Galaxy Y and the battery has an extra 100 milliamps in its tank, though the standby and talk times have gone down. This is due to the added dual standby functionality. The phone has two quad band 2G radios so it can work on any GSM network worldwide. You can use either SIM for mobile data, but not both at the same time, and only the first SIM slot has 3G connectivity. As for the software, it's a standard gingerbread plus TouchWiz pair. And while the Galaxy Y Duos is not a powerhouse with its 843 MHz processor and 290 MB of RAM, the Android UI runs very smoothly. The notification area has grown a SIM switcher, so that you can easily change which card is used for outgoing calls. If one SIM is used for data, you can still receive calls on the other one. The dialer has only one call button, so you have to toggle the active SIM before making a call. A cool thing about the call log is that each entry shows which SIM was used for the call. The messaging app also does the same for text messages. The phone book on the Samsung Galaxy Y Duos has a tabbed interface and lets you view online albums and Facebook or Twitter status updates from your contacts. phone comes with, equipped with the Polaris Office Viewer for Office documents. There's no editing option out of the box, but it is an entry-level device after all.